I see the importance of today's event on three levels, to be honest. Uh, the first one is, is, you could say, the detailed level and looking at the research and issues regarding skin cancer. I mean, um, you know, it's a horrible disease and, and it doesn't take much to, to do things in organisations. The second level that I see it is actually part of the wider work-related cancer campaign, which is kind of new new way of looking at health issues in organisations. And I think, uh, you know, I see the skin cancer issue in isolation, but I also see it in the context of our whole campaign of starting to change conversations with employees, with employers, uh, get them to start thinking differently about protecting their workforce. It's not just something that happens tomorrow or the day after. And I think on, on the third level, it links to that issue of changing the way that protecting people at work is talked about. There's a much broader issue about protecting people. If you have the right conversations, organisations have the right strategy and the right thinking, that the professional body can provide the appropriate support, um, uh, the practitioners can have that support to do things, and, and it can make organisations more resilient, improve their reputations and their results. It takes forward-thinking organisations and we're as a professional body there to support through our members. We were asked to um, try and in, uh, quantify um, and work out how many melanomas occurring each year in Britain were due to occupational exposure to sunlight. And the figures we've come up with are about 50 deaths a year, which is one a week, and 250 newly occurring melanomas every year, which is again about five a week. So it's a major problem. The industry sectors, as you'd expect, are those which employ people who spend a lot of their time out of doors, but particularly the construction workers, nearly half the deaths and half the melanoma new cases are occurring in the construction industry. So two new cases of melanoma every week um, in the construction industry and one death every two weeks. So it is a major issue and it's terrific that uh, IOSH are taking up this as a campaign to get the message across to workers and their employees. The presentation I gave this morning was uh, with the project that I've been doing for the last uh, four years which was funded by IOSH uh, and it was for uh, skin cancer awareness in the construction industry so we're talking about solar radiation we're talking really we're trying to understand what awareness people already had about skin cancer which is very limited in this country because the weather is so poor or generally seen as so poor people don't realize that on an overcast or cloudy day the UV radiation from the Sun is still causing damage to their skin we try to understand what people People knew already and then we devised a, an awareness DVD to cover the risks to explain to people how many cases there were in the UK um, and to give them some control measures that they could use to to try and improve things uh, for themselves so they had a, a mixture there was 10 sun safety measures uh, and it was a bit of a pick and mix really to try and uh, make things better for themselves if they've got no choice but to work outside in the middle of the day the research that I undertook within Royal Mail was looking at self-efficacy so self ownership of health and well-being, particularly in the, the area of uh, skin cancer and sun safety. Uh, I undertook a survey, a mixture of uh, electronic using SurveyMonkey and paper copies where I uh, examined uh, people's behaviours to owning the, uh, their, sun, their own sun safety behaviours. Uh, 1,153 um, respondents and got a wide range of, uh, of responses. Uh, in the main, those that were of uh, paler skin uh, were the ones that uh, were more self-aware obviously that raised a question about education from early on and self-ownership but the idea was to kind of raise awareness and raise a profile of this and I think we really uh, succeed in doing that both within the organisation and in partnership with IOSH. I'm the health and wellbeing manager for Arkiva and we launched a new strategy two years ago um, and so we're sort of obviously building and building upon that but we have quite a large contingency of workers that work outside, transient workers, guys that are working on our masks uh, maintaining and you know fixing faults so there's a lot of guys working outside. Um, we also have quite a, a high age demographic as well so there's an educational piece there that we need to target so it's really just to find out more information and look at how we want to approach that with, uh, with our guys.